And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast, weather from where you live. All right, tomorrow's the warmest day of the year so far. We got a high of 84 in Greater Lafayette, or 85 in Greater Lafayette, but we'll be at 84 at 3 and 5 p.m. 82 to 87 should do it viewing area wide. Now, there could be a couple isolated showers and thunder showers in the morning, and there could be a couple late afternoon and evening, but coverage will be low. But there are the highs. Your 84 Monticello, Delphi about 85, 84 Kokomo and Rucheville, 83 Rochester, and about 85 to 87 down here in our southwestern counties. Now, Friday, it's the rain, a little bit of thunder and lightning uh, uh, in the morning to midday, and then some clearing in the afternoon. No severe weather expected at this time, but after lows near 67, a 74 by mid afternoon. And then as the wind goes to the north, the lake breeze front comes in and temperatures may fall a little bit during the evening with 71 to 75 for highs for the entire viewing area. There is future cast again. Watch early tomorrow morning as this warm front comes northward and there could be a few isolated showers and thunder showers with it, especially Lafayette points northwestward. I think there could be a few isolated showers and thunder showers here. Those move out. Then we have the very warm afternoon that feels like summer and then an isolated shower, thunder shower late afternoon and into the evening. Now we watch for the rain to come in though by Thursday night and into Friday morning. This is Friday morning at 930. Some showers again, a little bit of thunder lightning and a few places can't be ruled out. Then it pushes out and we're dry to start the weekend. Saturday right now looks to be a pretty nice day. Rainfall wise, though, this is not a deluge that we're getting uh, right through Friday, Friday uh, midday. That is, I think a lot of the area is like a quarter of an inch to a half an inch. Overall, probably a little less than a quarter to seven tenths in that range. And the area with the highest rainfall totals will probably be southeastern Montgomery over to Clinton County's Carroll and then up towards Fulton County. So then it gets active though. We get to Saturday night, Sunday morning. This wave of scattered showers and storms comes through. Then it dries out. But watch next week. It's multiple rounds of organized storms that come through the area. We'll probably have some on Monday. More widespread on Tuesday, especially later in the day and probably around Wednesday and then one final round on Thursday and there's going to be a lot of severe weather risk kind of around the region and some of this severe weather risk will affect our viewing area as well. When we take the shear, the instability, we make an index out of it to give us the best idea of where the big severe weather risk is. It's our severe cast. Here we go. This is what we're looking at. Again, we're OK until we get to Saturday night, Sunday morning. These are kind of marginal risk type parameters. We get into next week, severe weather risk really ramps up to the west, especially Kansas and Oklahoma. This moves eastward. So I think getting into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, probably about every day, either in our area or very nearby, we're going to be talking slight and enhanced risk kind of scenarios. So that's something to watch getting into next week. 80 on Sunday, though, after a 76 on Saturday, 80 on Monday, 84 Tuesday, Wednesday. Again, it's it's muggy, it's warm, it is stormy next week with severe weather risk, and then it gets cooler that following weekend. In fact, highs on that Saturday only running in the low 60s.